one of my career long goals is to have a win legal sub 11 so it's a little over the legal limit so i'm a little annoyed but i'm gonna get it it's just one of my goals but i'm proud of how i competed gabby thomas indeed has a lot to show the world and she has the stats to back her up but does she have what it takes to break a world record that has been standing strong for more than three decades now? When you hear the name Florence Griffith Joyner, you probably need no explanation. After all, the legendary American sprinter is a double world record holder. Flojo's times of 10.49 in the women's 100 meter and 21.34 seconds in the 200 meter have stood since 1988. It goes without saying that the aura and records of Griffith Joyner hover over track to this day. Known for her long and colorful nails, flashy outfits, and cool Flojo nickname, she had a magical run in 1988 that rewrote the record book. She set the 100 mark of 10.49 at the U.S. Olympic Trials and the 200 mark of 21.34 on her way to a gold medal at the Seoul Olympics. It had seemed as if the records might never be touched. But Flojo's marks appear to be within reach with the Paris Games this summer. There's a cast of sprinters springing from the blocks who don't see an intimidating time, but rather a record that's meant to be broken. Gabby Thomas, for one, said that a few years ago she would have said, no, that's never happening, referring to the 200 record. But as the years progressed, Gabby decided to change her stance about the matter. With the technology and the way our competitors are running, absolutely, she said. I might just be crazy enough to believe that it's something that could happen in the next few years. Al Joyner shares the same sentiment, surprisingly. I remember Florence being asked about someone breaking her records and how she would feel, he recalled. She said she would be sad but happy because records are meant to be broken but that it would be like losing a best friend. Still, he acknowledged that he sees a new generation of Flojos. The 1984 Olympic triple jump champion said about his late wife, the legacy she has left, that she didn't even know she was leaving, is her dreams have become many, many girls' dreams. What Joyner saw in Flojo was a sprinter who never put boundaries on her performances. What he sees today are sprinters who refuse to set limits. It's not, oh, it's such a scary record, Joyner said. Those records will get broken. I don't know when, but they will be broken. Well, that's what most athletes are aiming for, at least. As earlier mentioned, and as you probably know anyway, the women's 200-meter record of 21.34 seconds has not been broken since 1988. But a handful of hopefuls came near. For one, Jamaica's Sharika Jackson came dangerously close, crossing the finish line at 21.41 seconds at the World Athletics Championships 2023. She may not have broken the record, but she made history after posting the second fastest time ever in the women's 200 meter. The rest of the pack is close behind as well. Elaine thompson Hera with 21.53 seconds and Gabrielle Thomas with 21.60 seconds are the third and fourth fastest in history. It is worth mentioning, though, that among them, Gabby Thomas has the fastest time in the distance this year, after running 21.78 in late June. Needless to say, she is a potential record breaker. The 27-year-old American sprinter's fastest time of 21.6 seconds came in July 2023. With that, Gabby is at number 34 all time. Following the PB of 21.60, she set to win the U.S. title 12 months ago. Just two weeks out from the start of the women's 200 meter in Paris, Thomas sent a signal with her winning run at the Diamond League meeting in London. It was not so much the victory, but the way the 27-year-old achieved it. Charging from fourth to first in the closing stages, she ran 21.82, the third fastest time of the season so far, behind her own world-leading 21.78 in the semifinals and 21.81 in the final at the U.S. Olympic Trials in Eugene. It goes without saying that the Harvard graduate in neurobiology is the favorite for the 200-meter gold in Paris. She, like many others, has her sights set on a 36-year-old mark. When you look at Flojo's 200-meter world record, her second 100-meter is insane, astronomical in fact, Gabby stated. So that's what you really want to do. 
your first 100 meter is setting you up to have an unreal second one. So could that Flojo world record finally be broken after 36 years at the Paris Olympics? Especially given the lightning fast track at the Stade de France and advances in super spike technology? Thomas nods. I think it's in reach for Sharika, she says. I think it's in reach for me at the Olympics, if the conditions are right. The super fast tracks are now incredible, and my sponsors New Balance have put a lot of development into our spikes. You really feel like you're getting a lot back from the track. She, of course, never goes on the track unprepared, whether mentally or physically. As I get into the blocks, I'm hyping myself up and thinking, let's go, one shot, no second chances. But once I'm on the line, it's blank thoughts, she admitted. I don't want to hyper-focus on anything. It's just about reacting to the gun. The hay is in the barn. You've done all the training. It should be muscle memory at this point. Overthinking it will just tense your body up and slow you down. If spectators are both excited and nervous watching a race, what the athletes must be feeling is 10 times worse. For Gabby, seconds before an Olympic final, adrenaline is flooding her body with the force of a burst dam, while her mind is trying to empty itself before the crack of the starter's pistol. That internal conflict, fight before flight. There's a lot of energy in this moment, she says. It can be fear, nerves, anxiety, excitement, happiness, even frustration, all of that. But actually, there's so much of a rush of adrenaline that I almost feel sedated, almost sleepy. Sometimes I'll even be yawning on the line, but it's not a bad thing. Then the gun goes off, and you black out. Overall, Thomas will have another opportunity to show her prowess on the global stage after winning a bronze last time around in Tokyo in the 200-meter event. Following her dominant victory at the U.S. trials, she told NBC, This is incredible. I knew I had to get today done, and this was the first step. There is no gold medal in Paris without making the team today, so I'm just ecstatic to be alongside these amazing, incredible women and everyone in the final. It's just such an amazing race. Hopefully her performance in Paris will be as amazing and as explosive. She is, after all, going against world-class sprinters like herself, Jamaica's Sharika Jackson included. The Jamaican is, without a doubt, ready to rebound and add to the global title haul as Thomas goes for first individual global gold after making a statement in London. Meanwhile, Julian Alfred, who has the third fastest time in the 200 meter this season, is on track to make more history for St. Lucia. Al Joyner was right when he said that he sees a new generation of Flojos. Thomas, Jackson, and Alfred, among others, are determined to come up on top while also etching their name in history books. Interestingly, Al Joyner said that it was a quality that his late wife valued. One of Florence's most famous slogans was believing in the impossible, Joyner said. You set a standard of your own, and when you set a standard and you surpass it, that's when records fall and amazing things happen. Watch this to see how prepared athletes are going into the games.